Hi guys, it's Allison, and guess what we're gonna talk about today? Diatonaceous Earth! <laughs> but of course we are. Today we're gonna talk about using it for infestation, infestations of insects in your house. Works really, really well. But before I do that, I just want to, as I always do, tell you a little bit about me. I had a defining moment as a child, and um, I'd like to share that with you. I'm not sure how old I was, but I was little, <laughs> and I was in my bedroom, and there was a spider walking across the wall, and I screamed for my father. <laughs> I was like, Daddy! And he came in there because he thought, I don't know, I was dying, bleeding out or something. And I was like, Daddy! And I pointed to the spider and I was like, kill it, kill it, kill it. And you know what my daddy said? <laughs> my daddy said, who, me? <laughs> he said, do you want that on my conscience? He said, nah. And he picked up a little piece of paper. He let the spider walk on the paper and he walked out into the patio at, outside and then he um, let the spider walk outside. And that was a moment that changed my entire life. Um, in regard to how I think about living creatures. They are no more or no less important than we are. They're just trying to do their thing, live their life, and be happy just like us. And there's no reason to smash them unnecessarily. However, however, <laughs> I do acknowledge that there are certain types of insects who like to occupy. <laughs> they like to do an illegal occupation <laughs> of your home and they kind of swarm and they bring in colonies and termites and you know uh, and roaches and uh, ants are of those type of insects that you just have to do something about now in this particular case um, diatonaceous earth can work for you really well I did have the displeasure <laughs> But pleasure, because pleasure is knowledge, of having an experience about six months ago where I saw a little roach in the house. And I was like, what the? <laughs> and I smashed it. Sorry. So anyway, <laughs> it wasn't until I saw the second one, because if you see one, there's probably a hundred. I saw a second, and I put my little thinker on and I was like, voila, diatonaceous earth. So I went and did some quick research and what is um, very important to know is that when using diatonaceous earth for these particular purposes, you need to make sure that it is a very light coating. It needs to puff into the air and um, have a very thin coating because if it's not thin, they are not gonna walk through it. Because as you know, the way diet, or maybe you don't know, the way diatonaceous um, earth works in these particular instances is that the insect walks over it, it gets on their body, and then it slowly begins to de dehydrate um, the body, and unfortunately, they just die like that. So, it needs to be thin or else they're not, you know, gonna walk through it, because they ain't stupid. <laughs> anyway, so, um, I started to think about what I can use and I do know they do sell things to use but um, I thought to myself okay um, a powder bottle has that effect when you squeeze it um, but I didn't have a powder bottle so I decided to try I have this thing here that I use for like a nasal rinse <laughs> So I used this and as you can see I still have a little earth in there and I, I and it just puffs it up you see very thin and what I did was I took everything down in my cabinets and I puffed and I spread and then I went through every vent in the house and I puffed it into the vent so that it could go in the walls and guess what I did not have any problem with any roaches after that so I hope you find it useful 
And once again, try not to kill the bugs if you can walk them out, if you can lead them out. <laughs> Please do it for me. <laughs> Bye.